The Flame Trees of Thika, Memories of an African Childhood, by Elspeth Huxley is a memoir that recounts the author's childhood experiences in British East Africa, now Kenya, during the early 1900s. The book is a beautiful reflection of a young girl's perspective of Africa, capturing the vivid and adventurous spirit of a colonial-era childhood in Africa. In this literary analysis, we will explore the themes and literary techniques used in the book. One of the dominant themes in the book is the sense of adventure and the discovery of the unknown. Huxley's childhood in Africa is characterized by a constant sense of wonder and curiosity as she and her family explore the vast and beautiful landscape. Her descriptions of the African wilderness are vivid and evocative, bringing the landscape to life for the reader. Through her eyes, we experience the thrill of exploring new lands, discovering new flora and fauna, and encountering the fascinating people and cultures of Africa. Another significant theme of the book is the tension between the British colonizers and the native African people. Huxley is acutely aware of the racial and cultural differences between the two groups and the inequalities that exist. She notes the mistreatment and exploitation of African laborers and the harsh realities of colonial rule. However, Huxley's portrayal of Africa is not entirely negative. She also highlights the beauty and resilience of the African people and their way of life. Huxley's writing style is lyrical and descriptive, with a keen eye for detail. Her prose is rich with imagery and metaphor, painting vivid pictures of the African landscape and the people who inhabit it. For example, in describing the African night, she writes, the night was alive with sounds and movements, rustlings and hootings and snortings, flittings and scuttlings, all mysterious and half seen in the darkness. Her use of sensory details and figurative language creates a sense of immediacy and realism that draws the reader into the world of her childhood. Huxley's portrayal of the characters in the book is also noteworthy. Each character is unique and well-developed, with their own quirks and idiosyncrasies. Huxley's family, in particular, is portrayed with warmth and humor, and their relationships with each other are complex and nuanced. Her depiction of her mother, Tilly, is particularly interesting, as she is shown as a strong and independent woman who defies the conventions of her time. Finally, The Flame Trees of Thika is also notable for its historical value. The book provides a fascinating glimpse into colonial-era Africa, capturing the culture, politics, and social dynamics of the time. Huxley's perspective as a child growing up in this environment offers a unique and valuable perspective and her observations of the world around her provide valuable insights into the colonial experience. In conclusion, The Flame Trees of Thika is a beautiful and engaging memoir that captures the spirit of adventure and discovery that characterized the colonial era in Africa. Huxley's lyrical prose, vivid imagery, and well-drawn characters bring the African landscape and its people to life, while her exploration of themes such as adventure, discovery, and cultural tension make this book a valuable historical and literary resource. Overall, The Flame Trees of Thika is a masterful work of memoir that will enchant and captivate readers of all ages.